Okay, let's look on the tab, which represent content to specifically for workflow we currently on this workflow step we are. For example, when we go inside actor wardrobe and props, you notice right here we have it all of this content that available for us in our libraries. If we're going to pause and animations, we'll have it some presets on a pauses and animation as well. Same with light and camera and the render options. So we'll have it our preset, editors, advanced options, and we'll go one per one as we're going around. Right now, let's look on our props, uh, our position, and we'll look on this tab, and look on some properties. So what it does is give it us content for the Dust Studio. It does not give it us full access and elements that we maybe have it for the poser. However, Dust Studio does provide access and load it your poser format files if you have it, any of them. And you can access them from your content library. Right here is mostly that directly poser, uh, directly does um, model type format. And uh, if you have it manual install, you may place them wrong area. So I do recommend again to use it um, download manager to control and kind of sort and accessing your content, manage your content where to place it. So right here I have it some of my um, libraries and some of them, let me extend this window so we can access. You may don't have it in your library. It's a specifically, for example, like this uh, bass map. I purchased separately, so it will show in my menu and probably does not show in you. However, when you get it, applications um, does, you probably will have it, some of the properties like figurines, people, and you will have it as well, um, male or female, some of these figurines in yours. Genesis has come with originally. So let's go back. We'll click on all. And right here, you'll notice we have it all of the available. And even we have a divide before accessor, um, accessories, animals, cameras, all of this here is showing everything. But some on the pro on the right icon, you can notice it tell us what it is uh, belong to. For example, actors, props, accessories. In many cases, you can load accessory, but accessory will attach to specific um, model or actor in this case. Properties can be accessed differently, as well as camera presets and some lighting and shattering properly. So one on the bottom right here, we can notice we have a tabs and right now it's kind of give it nice information. So the tips will help us go over tips. And if you have any question of filtering, resulting, it's help. But info tab, it's probably most um, informative for us. So we can look right here. We can click, for example, on the bass two, and it's tell us the name of file location for the file when it was created when it was last modified inside so it's given us additional information um just overall let you know it's way more information to actually store inside here so for example if we go to the best actor right click and you notice we have additional properties so we have it open new we also have to browse all files that work with this on this case if i have any skin or textures let's go click on this you'll notice it does not show in this case but let's go back so inside ours and just let's leave it for now here we'll come back to this but okay let's go back to our original okay and one thing you'll notice right here they kind of disappear all our library and this is part of the actual smart content because I do have it the past selected, no files currently association, so it's not there. I was someone I'm deselecting the all appear. So let's go and select the figurines right now. Okay, let me actually remove this one. We'll go to select figurines, people. Let's go to mail, and we'll just go ahead and select Genesis mail for now. Okay, so and for example, if we have it select on the model. You'll notice right here as we go and click on this, it's a little smart control will showing us everything that related to this model. For example, we can use it. We have it pauses, pause, we can use it. Actors, props, and all additional way we can use it in uh, related to this model as well. 
Okay, so let's go ahead. If we go inside the figurines, again, it will select this one inside the materials. So when you select the figurines and you want, be sure everything is kind of related. Be um, sure you select all or any specific like wardrobes which work with this. And also other things, let's go, for example, back to unselect our model. So we want to select everything to show. And as example, I have it right here, orange wardrobe. So let's see how it's very powerful to find some right elements. So if I go inside and I click go to this file product view. So if I click on this, it's going to show me this product and all related to these products. What we have it, for example, wardrobes, materials. So I can know, okay, it's have all these elements and I can change all the properties as well. For this, I can go inside and modify it. So let's go ahead go back again one more to this orange wardrobe and we'll go to browse other files to work with this so we click right here you'll notice we have only one file that work with this so let's go ahead expand and you'll notice it's a genesis uh, female model because this is, is a female um spacesuit designed for so it's tell me which is work so i cannot necessarily will work with these models even though I can fit maybe in some other ways, but it will work with the specific file. So it's kind of helped me to find which element is what working with. So again, as I said before, it is a very powerful also information. So if you select right click and right here, we have it also all additional. So we also have it so in content libraries and we can categorize. So this is more advanced properties and we'll look on them in um as we're going exploring these applications we're all just remember right here this is two ones which is help you to find all elements that may work with your model and also the package what they have it if they come together with them um, as a texture link or anything so let me go ahead and click again on our model inside the viewport and right here we have it our poses we can go use it and additional materials so for example if i just need pause i just double click and you can see right here we have our pauses applied to this we also have any additional clause and feeding we can apply to this model and mostly it's just simple you just double click and we apply it and properly so right now you can see i have my mouse enabled so i can modify and move it okay Remember, this is kind of important if you use a different uh, property. So we can look around. Okay, adjusting. We can just click and we have it, this universal tool as well. We'll look on this in a second in our next tutorial. But overall, for the content library, this is a files where we can access specifically to elements. So let's go ahead and the next tutorials continue exploring some additional products and all these additional tabs in our wardrobe tab.